Okay, I'm watching Joe take the drive hub off of my bus. So I remember to do it in the future here. He bent those locking tabs away from the nut and he has run off to find his nut. They had put this together with just silicon instead of a proper gasket. And also, one of the reasons we're doing this is, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a wet spot on the drum, which means there's probably a leak somewhere. So, because Bill is a pilot, he knows the torque ratings for every nut and bolt. And this one's supposed to be 200. The other side was not. Let's see where this one is. That wasn't 200 foot pounds. I don't know what those are. The front ones were 200. I guess they're the same. Probably about the same. Get that off of there. Goes, that's a jam nut, right? Yeah. So the jam nut takes up the thread from the, the main nut behind. If you see the other video on setting up the uh, front hubs, you'll see what we're talking about. Two nuts, two lock rings. Here's the outer nut. Here's the outer lock ring. It's keyed to the spindle. Unlike the inner lock ring, which is keyed to the spindle with the here, yep, and it's keyed to the inner nut with this tit. Okay, now when you're putting this back together, uh, and you're making fine adjustments, if you don't like where it's at here, you don't have to go all the way to this next hole. What you could do is turn this around, and then you only have to move it a half a hole at a time. And you can keep flipping this either way, depending on where it needs to be. Usually, if this is set correctly, now that this is loose, there should be some jiggle in this hub. You can hear it, it's jiggling. And if this is loose enough, I'll be able to turn this one flat spot with my hand. Look at that, it's right there. This one's set pretty close. The other one was damn close too. So whoever did these hubs knew how to set a hub. They just didn't dot the I's and cross the T's. They didn't use a gasket. They left a washer loose. It's still obviously leaking. So now that I've indexed that and I know I'm happy with the way it was, I'll go ahead and pull this off. All that slop that you feel when there's only one nut on there, 90% of that goes away when you put that other nut. There's, there's, there's at least a thousandth of play in these, in these threads, and that's what you take up with that outer nut. That's why this inner one has to be loose. You gotta be able to hear that thing jiggling. And actually with the outer one on there, it needs to be, still have a thousandth of play even when you get it done with it. There's your outer bearing tool time stuff so in other words you don't want any load on the bearings you just want them they shouldn't be loaded that's right and that but not all hubs are like that some you put a preload prevo says one one thousand to five one thousandths and there you go there it is and, uh, oh wait yeah i put that there because that'll keep leaking oh. 